Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This here is part of my jungle and if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you for still being here and if you're not new here then you've definitely seen my greenhouse before. So we are in the process now of cleaning everything out of the greenhouse. We're going to be taking it apart, getting rid of it, putting in shelves, and I'm very, very excited. I am not going to lie about it. So I'm just taking you guys along with me for the journey. These Hoya, I kept hitting my head on, <laughs> so I finally moved them. Philodendron UPI there. A lot of these are in need of a repot, Hoya latifolia dinner plate. So in case you missed me chatting about this before, one of the reasons why I am doing this is just because I feel like the shelves in here are not really very usable. The space itself is not really all that usable. You can see everything's kind of crammed in there. I had a lot of stuff on the floor just because these flimsy shelves really couldn't support a lot of the heavier pots, lots of monstera in here that I'm showing you, and of course my species Columbia and my philodendron Dean McDowell. You guys are no stranger to Dean. Absolutely love him. Standiliana aurea here looking straggly AF, but like I was saying, I'm just really not loving this space. I think it was a great idea but in hindsight maybe isn't really utilizing this space that well so that is why we decided to take it down and replace it fill an entrance toward them and i do have a humidifier hiding in here i also have a fan in here but i was finding that the airflow was just not great i was having a really hard time with the airflow in here, even with multiple fans. And I was finding myself having to leave the greenhouse open a lot of the time anyway. So I'm not really sure what the point is of having a greenhouse if you have to leave it open all the time. Am I right? So just showing you a few of my philodendron there. This is my white knight, which has seen better days. I think it just was never happy since repotting it. A lot of these plants I'm not keeping, but these I am. That was the bicolor, and then a Monstera Leclariana, Wend Imbe variegated, even though it's kind of going all variegated. I have my Strawberry Shake in here, my White Wizard, and my White Princess, as well as my Philodendron Patricia. Um, you guys know how much I love Patricia. This is an Adansonii Mint definitely just isn't getting what it needs and I feel like moving everything to shelves with proper grow lights is going to make a whole world of difference. So now all that's really left to move out of here are all of these Hoya. There are a lot of Hoya tendrils all tangled up in each other up here. A lot of them need to be repotted. Some of them need to be thrown away. A lot of things were just kind of being neglected in here because the space was just making me so stressed. <laughs> Hoya meridithii. So I was keeping a lot of my larger Hoya in here like Vitellinoides in this species Sabah. I also have a handful of different Latifolia varieties, things that were sun stressing because this shelf was really close to the light. Um, I just am not, I just really was never happy with this setup. I was grateful to have a little bit more space in here for my Hoya, but I am thinking that now that I have the cabinet, I am going to do my best to move all of the smaller Hoya into the cabinet and only keep the bigger Hoya on the shelves. So I do still plan on using this humidifier up here in the winter time. Uh, thankfully this is a loft so it does actually stay pretty humid on its own, but the humidifier itself just needs to be cleaned 
and then I can get it back up and running here in time for the winter months when it might not be quite as humid, but it does stay around 60% naturally up here, so I'm not all that worried about it. Just a few more things to move out of here, and it's all empty. It's kind of crazy to see it like this. And if you see the top of this, you can see like the shelves, these bars were really not allowing the shelves to go very high all the way to the ceiling. And it is obviously a loft, so it's a low ceiling in here. Um, and now David is taking apart the greenhouse, which I was very grateful that he would do for me because it's a very tedious task, but he got it done really, really quickly this time lapse makes it look even faster but we got that all taken apart and i'm just showing you the space now what it looks like with nothing in it not a huge space but we're gonna put up some shelves so we did pick up these shelves from home depot they're really simple heavy duty plastic shelves and this is what it's looking like so far but we do still need to put some lights and some trays in and then I can finally show you what everything is looking like. All right, y'all. I'm not sure that we're even ready for this. Are we even ready for this? I just had David put all the lights in. Everything is ready to go so this is what it's looking like this is the after this is the final result for the most part i think i have everything organized the way that i would like to have it organized i've got some prop boxes over here uh, my cabinet is over here in case you were wondering and these are the new plant shelves so I've got all my Monstera here. Well, this isn't full yet. I have many more Monstera <laughs> to put here. I am gonna be getting rid of this thing and maybe just putting like a little shelf or something here. I'm not exactly sure, but I am just not loving that right there. So we're gonna get rid of that. But I wanted to give you just like a little tour of everything that is going on here. So we picked up these shelves from Home Depot and then i picked up these boot trays i got these on amazon i can leave them linked down below for you guys if you're interested the light that i have here is the sansi 200 watt dimmable light um, absolutely love this light it is amazing you have so much control over where's the dimmer i think i tucked it up in here yeah you have so much control over like how bright, look at how bright this gets. Whoa, I have it turned down so low, it's basically off. But my plants are really happy here. Monstera Albo, my original, my OG, putting out a new leaf there. So that's what's going on here. We have some struggle babes here and I'm just using this bottom shelf right now for storage, but there are lights under there in case I need to use that for plants. And then over here we have all of my philodendron. So you guys recently saw me repot this Adabap and put her on this pole. She's looking gorgeous here. And this is where I'm gonna keep all of my philodendron. I mean, there's a Monstera over here, but it's fine. Um, that are on the taller poles since we do have more room here. These are just on some like Sansy regular bulbs right now i am gonna like clear off this here and use the top of this for storage as well david's puppets are watching me um anyway so then down here i have some more of my personal philodendron these are all philodendron and then we have the barina uh, what are these t5 i'm pretty sure i will leave them linked down below for you guys these are in the color yellow and I'm really liking the way that they look I think they give a really great amount of light it's soft it's not too strong 
Um, and I think my plants are gonna really enjoy it. So some more of my personal philodendron hiding under here. And then over here we have inventory. So I've got a ton of trays shoved in here, some struggle plants. I'll probably just throw this one out. She ain't looking too hot. Um, yeah, and just like some Hoya inventory hiding in here. I have just like some of my Hoya here temporarily, but this will also be designated for inventory. Um, and then I have Hoya inventory here, which is like all that I have left in terms of Hoya. My Deshidia, unfortunately, are needing a little bit of love in before, before they can do anything. So they just need some time to grow back. <laughs> because obviously I'm not gonna sell them like this um, I've got some import Hoya chillin pack there and then up here I have all of my Hoya that are on trellises for the most part anyway so I've got a sneaky little chicken farm in here my Sarawak hiding back there Meredithii dinner plate all the good stuff not mad so yeah that's really what's going on here we still got a little bit of a mess to clean up i've still got some bins to organize and figure out what's happening but this is the final setup and i'm absolutely loving it i think that it looks so much better than the greenhouse i have so much more space i can see everything everything's getting good light and um i have a lot more space for inventory for sure once i clear off this shelf i also have these shelves here for inventory right now i have like pottery inventory hanging out down here and then just like stray pots i never know what to do with all these pots and some clear trays. It actually works out perfectly with the clear trays because the the boot trays only go to here. But these little clear trays actually ooh, fill in that space there perfectly. So I'm not mad about that, but I am going to use a lot of the trays inside the cabinet um, just to kind of streamline things so that I don't have to have a bunch of bulky pots in there. It just kind of helps make things easier so that is it you guys that is the whole entire journey from start to finish taking the greenhouse down getting everything cleaned up in here and getting this set up I'm absolutely in love with it I couldn't be happier with this um, it was a reasonably affordable setup too I think just like a few hundred dollars in terms of like shelving uh, boot trays and lighting um, and this plastic tarp was obviously very expensive <laughs> but it's it's more money for sure than the cheap $30 plastic greenhouse that I had but I'm able to actually utilize this space so much better now and I'm a very happy girl that's for sure so if you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed coming along with me for this journey you should definitely give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me there's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam get yourself some perky perks if not there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me but you guys already know the best way to support me and my channel is to shop my plant shop check out if there's anything down there that you're interested in i'll leave it linked for you and um i appreciate you guys i can't do this without you let me know if there's any plants that you've been looking for um i'm not planning on getting any inventory anytime soon because i feel like i'm leaving but i might i might snag some next week i just i genuinely don't know because i'm not even going to be here to ship them out so definitely go and check out what's there because I don't think I'll be putting anything up for the next, like, two weeks, probably. So, I love you guys so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to go to my Instagram and enter the giveaway. Don't forget to spread kindness. 
Don't forget to drink your water. Don't forget to water your plants too. I need to do that. And um, I will see you in the next one. Bye.